If you're using a Peplink SD-WAN router, it's likely for service provider failover and redundancy. But what about hardware redundancy? For that, you want high availability. Here's a simple setup to illustrate high availability, or HA. On the left, we have a router that's already in production and has already been set up with the master role of the HA pair. On the right, we have a router that has been assigned an IP address, but nothing more. First, we'll take a look at the router on the left to see how we've gotten to where we are, and we'll use that information to configure the slave router on the right. You'll notice from the dashboard that there's a high availability status already. We see it's in the master role, part of group eight, and the IP address here is the shared IP that will be between the two routers. Above, you see a LAN interface IP 192.168.12.1. That is the unique IP to the master. Let's take a look at the high availability settings themselves. Under the advanced tab, you'll have an option on the left for high availability. Here we can see we've enabled it. We've assigned a group number. This will need to be the same on the master and the slave. Uh, here we've chosen eight. Our preferred role is the master. And we have this set up so that the master will resume the master role if it recovers from a failure, like a power outage. The virtual IP is that shared IP that we saw on the dashboard of 192.168.12.3. And the LAN administration IP we also saw 12.1. That is all there is to the high availability setup. So let's go take a look at the slave and get that configured. Here on the dashboard, we see we have the IP 192.168.12.2. That will be the LAN administration IP address, and it will need to be unique. That will auto-populate in the advanced tab under high availability. And for the most part, we need to mimic the same settings but some will need to be unique for the slave. We'll enable this. We need it to be part of group eight. The preferred role, we already have the master, we need the slave. The configuration sync option is probably the simplest way to set up the high availability pair. It involves the slave router getting a configuration from the master every five minutes. That way, anytime you make changes on the configuration, you don't have to also change the configuration of the slave. For the purpose of this, we'll use that configuration sync. And we need the serial number of the master. We'll find that under the status tab. And on the master, we'll go back to the high availability setup. We'll make sure our virtual IP address matches and that our LAN administration IP address is unique. Save these settings, apply those. And we'll go back to the dashboard on both devices. You'll see that the CPU load on the slave increases as that configuration gets saved, and then that will settle down to a more reasonable usage. Once that configuration is saved, you'll likely need to refresh that browser window. and we'll see some changes here. So we have a high availability status, and as expected, we have the slave device as part of group eight. 
with that shared IP 192.168.12.3 shared with the master. If this helped you, please leave us a like. And if you have a feature or setting you'd like to see highlighted, let us know in the comments below.